Hello guys, welcome back to LanApp. For today's video, we are going to show you how to fix Shopify add to cart button not working error. So, in this case, if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. So, if you're getting the par parameter missing or invalid error whenever you're trying to add something on your cart on your Shopify store, there is one thing you can do to probably solve this issue. So, first things first is you need to make sure that the parameters for your products whenever you're viewing them is actually correct. So, in this case, you want to go ahead and uh, basically go to your uh, online store here. You want to go to Teams, click on Customize. And in here, you want to go ahead and visit your product page. So at the very top, go to Home page, and you want to go to Products, and click on the default product page here. Now, what we need to do here is you want to scroll down a bit here, and you want to go ahead and look at the product section. Now, also on the left section, you should be able to see the uh, layers that you have here or the organ how things are organized here on your product page. But what you're looking for is going to be the variants. For your product now if you've deleted or accidentally delete your variants here or in this case uh, uh the block for variant here it means uh it will cause some uh issues whenever you're trying to check out because it doesn't actually know what values to assign on a variant especially on a product that has a variance on it so you want to go and click on add block here and you want to go and click on variant picker and from here you want to go and organize them in a way uh in this case i'm going to put this under the uh section for uh title now, also, if you've hidden your uh, variant picker here, you want to make sure that you actually uh, turn them on. Now, by the way, if you've added, like, for example, you added a, a very specific one here, like, for example, if you're using a, uh, in this case, a variant picker or a different variant picker here. So, for example, you have an app that you use for as a variant picker here. You want to make sure that this one is actually added. So if, if you have that installed into your website and also enabled here or the app is enabled here, you want to make sure that you add it in here. So this one is pretty important. So you want to make sure it's added in here, the app that you just installed for your variant picker. So yeah, so in this case, it actually stems on uh, the uh, Shopify store here, not being able to set a value for the variant itself. But usually when you add the uh, app or the variant picker here, it will automatically solve itself. As long as you click on save at the top right here uh, to save your changes. Now, by the way, if you change uh, things in the back end, you want to go to your uh, teams here on the online store. You want to go ahead and click on the option for edit code. And you want to go ahead and visit the appropriate files that you edited for your product whenever you change or if you try changing the add uh, product option or if you uh, got, uh, tweaked a bit something about the parameters for your uh, variants. But in this case, that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to your lineup. Thank you for watching.